Hi friends, welcome back to the part 7 of this tutorial series. This is Indranil and I welcome you all to my channel Programming is Fun. In this project, we are working to create a blog, blog website and we, have, we are working on the API portion at, the, at this point of time. So in our previous video, we created the uh, uh, post entity and also configured the type ORM package. And we saw how we can create a table using uh, the code first approach. Okay. But uh, right now, we are not doing much with the database. And as you can see, if I go to my uh, Postman client and hit the send button here, I'm simply getting this string in the response. But we want something, some data from the uh, database that we have. And let me open our database here uh, dbeaver and while it's opening let me quickly go back here so our post service should be able to communicate with our database and retrieve the posts from there and insert new row in the database and all those stuff but right now we we are not doing that so in order to interact with our mysql database what we need to use is is known as the repository pattern so nest.js follows the repository pattern here so let me open my chrome browser here and go to docs.nestjs.com and here if you see and type repository pattern okay you see the type ORM supports the repository design pattern thus each entity has its own repository so in our case we have the entity the post entity here so this would have its own repository and we can use that repository to query the corresponding table in the database so let's see how we can do that and in order to do that we will go to the post service and we will inject something in the constructor so this is again we are using the dependency injection here so we will use the inject repository method here and this expects the the entity here so you can if you have multiple entities you can put any entity here and that that particular repository will point to the corresponding table which which is related to that entity so in our case if i type post okay so this is my entity and i'll import it from the entities folder so now as you can see i'm getting a parameter hint here from my ide that says my entity is post it's referencing to the post entity here and i need to declare a local variable just just that's the way we uh, declare our uh, inject any other service and this variable repo will be of type repository it's an it's an uh, it's a it's a class uh, given to us by type orm and i declare its type as post so this type should match the type of entity which you are putting here okay so now once we have injected the repository here and i can simply go to my let's say not create at this moment let's say the find all method and i'll make it an async so that i can return a promise and i will use the await keyword okay so the way you do it is return await and call this repo or this repository and as soon as you put the dot you will see there are methods available so you have the create method find find one remove update then you have find one or fail save etc okay so in our case we will be using the find method okay and you, you don't need to put any options here unless you want to filter something so i'm not going to filter anything so i'll simply use the default function function here find function here so once you do that save the changes and now as you know that my database is empty let's see that again i'll go to my post 
view data it's empty so i expect to receive an empty array let's see so i go back here hit send there you go i get an empty array also if i just for demo purposes i enter one item here let's say first post dummy content and slug is first underscore post and that's it let's say uh it says main which well, does not have a default value never mind let's put a uh, default value let's google.com nothing it doesn't matter what you put there so hit save okay. and now if you go back to the postman client and hit send i get this post okay and it's an array of posts since i'm using the find method so this find it returns as you can see here it returns an array of posts a promise that is an array of posts and that's also shown here as a hint and if you add another an another entry here second post so the content let's say dummy content two second post and again the url anything you want this is just a demo save the changes go back hit send so now we are getting two posts so this is working as expected okay so this is how the repository pattern works so we have to uh, refactor all these functions or methods that we got out of the box when we created this resource using the cli and we'll use the same uh, repo here the the uh, repo variable that we created and we'll use the various methods available to define all these methods we'll do that in the next video so i hope you understood the basic concept of the depository pattern if if you have any doubts or suggestions or comments please leave that in the comment section below and uh, i'll get back to you on that so till then please like subscribe and share this video with your friends and i'll see you in the next video thank you and have a wonderful day